Hacienda was an incredibly important venue in terms of Manchester's musical history. It was the centre of the universe, the guest, best nightclub in the world. Smoke, sweat and that pounding 120 beat per minute. F***ing beautiful. Biblical even. It became the place where rave music was born. It was a special place at a special time and we were pioneers. We were a bunch of idiots that changed the world. Manchester's Hacienda Club. For more than a decade, it was the epicentre of the Manchester Revolution. Now it's about to be bulldozed to make way for city centre flats. There's always some c*** who's got to spoil the party, isn't there? We took everyone by surprise. I mean, even on the night it closed, nobody knew it was going to close. I just burst out crying, yes, so I was very upset. But as Tony said, we'd made history, so it was time to go. It was an auction to raise money for charity, it was a great idea. The girders and the big chunky stuff, the bricks, the cat's eyes, bits of the dance floor, wall with graffiti on the toilets. It was like a kind of trendy Ikea. Of course, Peter Hook was doing the hammer, which is how I ended up with loads of stuff that I didn't even bid for. I was scared of moving and ending up with a toilet door. This is what I've got, Manchester's history in piss, I suppose, you know. It's just plain old chimney, but I think it's wonderful. I said, I've, I've got you a steel girder. I think I paid 30 quid for the girder. I think you paid about 120 quid to get it brought back here. I thought, why are you spending money on a bit of wood and a brick? The club was so important to so many people. It created a monster. I still look at my piece of wood sometimes and think, just think all the people that have been on that, and all the moments, the moments of pure magic. It reminds me of countless nights that were just so important to me. It changed your personality, your outlook on life. It sounds like I'm so exaggerating things there, but that's the effect it had. Moving Hacienda Cement in there, which, <laughs> I love it. I should sample that, actually, and put it in a tune.